Okay, we're doing guillotine from butterfly guard. So we're going to do this with the overhook. And what I'm going to do is just fake the sweep. If, or maybe if I get the sweep, fine, but if not, I'm not going to capture this arm. I want him to post. So I'm going to get my overhook. Don't want to be too high up there because if you have it too high, he has a lot of range with this part of his arm. If you do it a little bit further down, he has less range, can't really move as much. So once I get him up in the air, I'm going to purposely bring him back down away from me. Like this. I, I need some space here because once he gets this space, he's probably going to be concerned about this arm and I'm expecting him to come in. Another thing is with this overhook, I need to bring him down. So he's not up here. It's going to be kind of hard to guillotine when he's up. Okay. So away, down. And now since he's over here, I'm going to wait for him to come. Once he comes in, I'm bringing this over and I'm going to take this hand and switch from the overhook to a cup grip, just like this C grip right here. What this will do is it'll stop him from taking that hand in and start fighting my hand here. So just temporarily, I'm going to push that. So now I get extra space this way because when I guillotine, I don't want to be leaning back. I want to be leaning forward. Not really with my head like this. That doesn't count with my whole body. So even if I have to just push myself out a little bit more, I can do that. So I'm going to do this. And you can go back in a sec. <clears throat> and at the same time, I'm going to bring my everything to from this side of the spine to that side of the spine. I'm going to look up. You can even take your leg out if you want and go high like this. Now my hand's way up here. So in order to finish, I can just take this grip, come up over the top and finish like that. I can take this grip just on my wrist, move it over, or I can even just kind of rear naked choke it and finish it. Okay. So one of the, like I mentioned, you need to be forward and I want to go over and look up this way. So I'm going to move everything from this side to this side and go up. Now sometimes if it's, if you do it and he kind of stays close like this, I don't want to reach up and go like this. I can if I'm doing a regular guillotine, but this is a, a pretty much one arm, high elbow. So if he stays up here, I can still grab it like this. And since I have my butterfly hook in here, I'm going to take him down this way, head to the mat, lean all the way over, look that way, and use my butterfly hook just to bring him over. I'm going to follow him all the way over, knees to the mat, just one hand, because his, his arm is up here. So just one, still all the way around here. All I'm gonna do is post out, drop my hips, lift my chest, and finish. So let's just do the so to just put it together with the, the first one, one that works, I got this, pick him up, bring him out, all to this side, <laughs> and choke him, <laughs> easily. So with the, the elbow, I'm trying to get it, when I go under here, I'm trying to get my elbow under his chin, like this as much as I can. You can finish it like this. It's more like a regular guillotine. I'm trying to get this high. So when I'm in this position, this hand, it's gonna be hard for him to find this hand right here, like that. So between this grip over here and this hand up high, it's going to be easier to finish. <clears throat> 